What's the word, ladies and gentlemen? This is Andrew, and you can totally see my reflection here. Um, yeah, this could be a uh, YouTuber's setup, or my setup, rather, and um, I guess I'll just be showing you guys kind of my newest, the newest uh, version of my PC setup. I did a lot of changes in the last couple months. I got a new case, I got a new uh, CPU, motherboard, a lot of things. Got a new desk, new desk location. A lot of things happened, so uh, I figured... You know, I, I, I do this video. Some of you may have seen this case, maybe some of you haven't, but it is essentially the Inwin uh, 909. So I'll zoom in here before you guys uh, check out the rest of the setup, but um, I'll go ahead and take the cover off. All right, so we have this bad boy open. Cable management, uh, to my standards, is pretty okay. Um, I, I'm not the best at managing cables, but Kind of tried to kind of tuck everything away. Looks like something kind of got loose over time, but that's okay. Uh, so what this is is a uh, i7 5820K six core processor. Uh, recently upgraded to to six cores just for rendering purposes. Uh, that's a Corsair H100i. There's the radiator and the fans. Um, then you got the, I think it's the Crucial Ballistics, what is that? Uh, can you see it? Can you guys see that? Oh god. There you go. You got 16 gigabytes on each side, or sorry, 8 gigabytes on each side, 16 gigabytes total. Then you have the WinForce. What is that? That is the Gigabyte WinForce G1 Gaming. Uh, it's the 970. Where, does it say anywhere on the, it says 970? No. Oh, there we go. You gaming. It's a great card for 1080p gaming. Never had any issues with it. Uh, that's my motherboard. It's the Gigabytes X99. I think it's the one of those ultra durable versions lines. Here's my PSU. Pretty standard. Uh, XFX is going to be 850 watts. Fortunately, or unfortunately rather, it's not modular. I would suggest if you're building a PC to go with a modular. Uh, uh, PSU because uh, as you can see I kind of had to stuff all the uh, extra cabling here and luckily here the case is pretty big for the space so you can actually put this stuff there um, but I'd imagine if you had a smaller case it would be a bit more difficult now next up here we have the uh, it's two regular LED fans and then your little ports and stuff and that's the power button for this case is there anything else I'm missing oh yeah of course the uh, the drives Yes, yeah, so I have an SSD. It's a Samsung Evo. I think it's 250 gigabytes, and that's just a one terabyte mechanical hard drive. This case, man, it is awesome. I mean, I, I have no issues with this case. It's awesome. It's huge. This whole block here is for like custom water loops and things like that, but as I'm not that advanced, I don't have enough money or time to kind of set that all up. I just kind of went with a, um, an all-in-one. So this is the front of the case. Very nice, and that's my living room. Uh, as you can see here, in win. I guess next up is my kind of corner here. I, again, I don't have the most impressive of setups. It's very uh, kind of, it doesn't even match in color. A lot of these set of videos you'll see people like, yeah, I got everything in with the blue LEDs and the blue, blue, blue mouse and the blue mouse pad and the blue screen, the background, the blue headset, and I got the, got the blue mic and I got the, uh, uh, see, uh, for me it's just kind of, I mean, it's, it kind of looks like Christmas colors at this point, but hey, I mean, I, I, I like the mouse pad a lot, and I liked my mouse a lot, and I like my keyboard a lot, just sadly they didn't match in color, but. So let's just start from this side. Um, it's very messy on this desk. It's not gonna be like a really tidy desk. This is kind of like how my desk looks on a day-to-day -day basis. You know, I see those people with impeccable, super clean desks. And I'm like, is your desk normally like that? Maybe it is. Maybe I'm the only one who's messy in the world. Uh, I could be it. I, that, that just could be it. All right, so this is a uh, five terabyte external hard drive. Very handy for putting on old footage, raw footage, uh, old videos, things like that. And this is an old keyboard. I was gonna test that to see if uh, it was quieter. This is my mic that I use. It's extremely old, not extremely old, but I've had it forever since high school. So that's gotta be like, Ooh, I don't even know, like over about 10 years old, probably, if I had to guess. C01U Samsung 
not Samsung, Samsung. This is my, um, this is not a headset, this is just actually a regular uh, headphone thing. And I'll read you the model number here. It's a Sony XB950BT. Um, I like it because it's got like a lot of bass. Maybe not an audio audiophiles headset, or headphone rather, but I enjoy it just because I kind of like having that cinematic rumbling of game sounds and stuff. Oh, it's gonna fall. Ah, no, it's not. Next up we have glasses case. Glasses. Um, I don't usually wear my glasses. I usually roll with contacts. And this is my keyboard. Oh, the clay keys. Anyways, um, this is the uh, Razer Ultimate Black Widow, Razer Black Widow Ultimate, I don't know. So with those four words in some order. I love this keyboard, this is the clicky version. A lot of you guys uh, may have complained about its clickiness, but I've actually found that putting a sock over that microphone helps a lot. So if you guys uh, are still complaining, let me know and I'll, I guess I'll switch to the old, the old membrane keyboard. Ah. All right, so next up we have a coaster. Got to have the coaster, got to protect the uh, nice wood. Have my iPhone 5S. Um, I don't really feel a need to upgrade to a 6 yet. I kind of like the size. This is my screen. You guys can kind of see what I'm working with here. This is a, um, I forget the, okay, so it's a Philips, so I forget the actual size. Um, it's essentially a 144 hertz monitor. Beautiful, I love it. Um, super smooth for gaming and stuff like that. And you have seen this before. This is the uh, Logitech Proteus Core, right? The, uh, what was that? The G502. Great mouse, by the way. Um, it's been, what, a month, two months maybe since I've used it. It's amazing. I haven't had any issues with the buttons. Um, comfortable, it's comfortable. I haven't had any sort of real issues. Solid mouse, I, you know, I couldn't, I couldn't complain. The cable seems to have held up. Uh, it's got a little bit of cat hair on this, but uh, the only thing though is that the mouse feet, uh, I don't know if you guys can tell, but there's a little bit of wear on the mouse feet, and I'm, I'm, a, I'm guessing that's from my aluminum uh, mouse pad, which is right here, and you can actually order more uh, spare mouse feet online. A lot of people have some issues with the mouse feet as well, so I'm not, I'm, I know I'm not the only one, but luckily Logitech does offer uh, really cheap replacement feet. So this is my mouse pad that I got from Japan. This thing's a beast. Uh, it is just an aluminum thing, aluminum uh, plate. It's fantastic. On the back, it's got like a little, uh, that, there we go. On the back, it's got like a little bit of a, you know, uh, kind of a cushiony surface, so to speak, right? So you can kind of just anchor down, just won't move. Well, it kind of moves a little bit, but I love the size. I do not think you can get it from, um, I don't think you can get it from Amazon in the States. So I bought it from a store in Japan. I don't know how hard these are to come by. I do like the aluminum surface. I am not a mouse pad expert, so don't go out saying, oh, Keru said, Keru has aluminum you know, mouse mat, so it's like the best one ever. I don't know, I, don't, I really don't know. I just know, like, sir, I just like how it looks. I like this feel. That's kind of my setup. I'm just kind of sitting here. Uh, oh, 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 there you go. <clears throat> and there you have it. Yep. So, I think that's just about it. The setup, not that impressive. It's more of like a little work corner, work station area, so to speak. You know, not necessarily like a gaming room or an epic gaming room or entertainment room. You know, just sort of my little corner where I make YouTube videos and play games on. Sort of a, a very Spartan, minimalistic, kind of cramped, so to speak, uh, area where I kind of put it all together. And uh, yeah, if you guys are curious on what's behind my monitor, you guys really don't want to see this, but um, just more junk. That's my charger for my uh, camera and some spare laptop speakers and an air canister. These are really nice. Oh, there you go. These are really nice, by the way. Uh, handy for uh, if you're uh, into cleaning out your computer, very useful. And that's a dust uh, filter that I actually don't need because this thing comes with a this filter is like a magnetic thing. It's awesome. Oh god, I just, I just, oh god. <laughs> so yeah, uh, that is just sort of my setup. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, let me know in the comments what you guys think. This was quite an expensive upgrade. It's a lot of time to kind of save up for, but totally worth it. I'm in love with my sister. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, so yeah, 
Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Hope you guys enjoyed this. And until next time, see you around.